It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Monkish Brewing Company and it's a can of this Spirit Rumble. It's a double dry hopped double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV and there's a lot going on there. I like the artwork because it's very close to being... Well, let's be fair, it's a bit close to being like... like 1990s Japanese gaming, you know, especially with a the little ghost there, the ghost there. <clears throat> Actually, it makes complete sense to me now. Ghostbusters, Nintendo, Pac-Man, I don't know what that one is. Don't know what that one is. Quite a funny quite a funny label to be honest um, without further ado okay so it's 8.5% ABV and it is in a 1.16 fluid ounce can without further ado let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get they are based in California uh, monkish and I want to say a massive thank you to Steve for getting me this beer uh, th this beer I mean local Californians queue up for this beer and some of them are not in in the queue quick enough and they miss out local California people miss out on this beer and 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 here I am over in Wales in the UK hundreds and hundreds of miles away um, standing here thanks to very much to Steve uh, reviewing one of these beers and I've had all sorts of messages on social media saying do you realize how lucky you are to be drinking monkish beer and yeah it's a massive thank you a massive thank you to steve for for this fantastic opportunity so we've got a one finger white head hazy oaty looking beer slow moving carbonation real kind of straw colored kind of hazy looking Almost like a milkshake IPA, but without the milkshake. You know, this is oats. This is oat doing this. I much prefer oats to... Some brewers use lactose, and it's... For me, it's not the same. Just bang oats in your beer and make it like this. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it just puts a smile on your face. It's an instant smile, just... It's really lovely and hoppy and tropical. A little bit of tartness coming through. Touch jammy, plummy. And then you've got a little sense of that bitterness on the back end. You can't smell bitterness, you taste bitterness, but there's enough flavour coming into the aroma of the beer that you can go kind of, mmm, yeah. It's almost tasting the bitterness. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this one then. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> wow! I gotta put that down. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! What a fantastic beer! Big, juicy, hoppy, grapefruity, passion fruit, mango, citrus. Oh! Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous beer! Lovely and tropical. I'm getting now right on the back end on the beer. I'm getting like like a rolling bitterness. It's just it's just keeping on going and going and going. So it's a little like it's a little hello to the to the kind of the classic California double IPA of old of old because back in the day, and I'm only talking five six years ago. Um, American, like like California ca um, craft beer, especially double IPAs, they were renowned, absolutely renowned for their bitterness. 
And that kind of went over to being really juicy and, and really kind of loads of flavour in the middle and then dropping that bitterness. But this kind of incorporates, this beer, this ghost rumble, this incorporates, or sorry, spirit rumble I should say, this incorporates the two styles. You've got a smacking middle, loads and loads and loads of flavour in the middle. And then you've got this wonderful bitterness on the back end that just, it reminds you of, of, of that kind of California, San Diego style double IPA. Love it, absolutely love it. It's got a really creamy mouthfeel as well. And what I mean creamy, I don't mean lactose. I mentioned that earlier. There's a little trend in the UK. I'm not sure if, if it's in America. Comment in the comments box if it's in America. If it's getting to America, steer clear of it because I, I just don't like it. But milkshake IPAs. And they're really lactosey, really lactosey, sweet kind of. I, it's not for me. It's not you. If you if you've got a sweet tooth, you might love this style of beer. But I much prefer this slightly sweet from the malt, big flavour in the middle, bitter on the back end. Maybe I'm just a bitter person at heart, and you know there's no sweetness left. <laughs> It's good. It's really good. I've just reviewed another monkish beer. Cats. Chasing cats or something. And that was good. I liked that. Let me get the can. Back in a moment. Cats to chase. Double dry hopped. Double IPA at 8.4%. This is 8.4, that's 8.5. But you can see the difference in the beer. Can you? Oh, well, okay, maybe not. Maybe not, but let's have a taste of this. There's a definite difference in this spirit rumble. The Cats to Chase has more flavour in the middle. This beer here has lots of flavour in the middle, but it's a whacking, cracking, smacking, banging, massive kind of hoppy, bitter finish on the back end. I love that. I love that. I really. Th this is more. Well, if you watch the two reviews side by side, because I'm sure they won't, they'll only be a matter of a couple of days away, or if you're watching two years in the future, then put in Spirit Rumble and then put in Cats to Chase and watch the reviews side by side, because you can see, you can see in the review, I'm happy with the beer, I love the beer, it's great beer. But I'm not on my toes. I'm not like jigging around and dancing and you know doing all this kind of like whoa I really like this beer. And that's because that's because naturally for my flavour profile, for what I like in the beer, this has it. This has it. It's that smack in the chops bitterness that yeah, I just like it. I just I just like it. It's, it's just up my street. It's 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 for me. It's what a double IPA should be. I mean, if they wanted to, they could have called that one a double dry hopped New England IPA. And that would have probably suited that kind of style of beer better. To call this a double dry hopped double IPA, yeah, this, this more fits the bill for my palate. Lovely bitterness on the back end. So tropical, passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, citrus, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, pine needle, bitterness. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant beer. 
And of course it's monkish, so they're not going to say too much about their beers, apart from they're from Torrance in California, and it's monkishbrewing.com. And apart from the style, and the name of the beer, and a picture, oh, and the um, don't drive um, tractors while you're pregnant, apart from that message that all American craft beer has to have, or all, all American beer has to have, then, um, yeah, that's it. No description on the beer. So let's rate it. Thank you very much, Steve. Fabulous, fabulous beer. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.